Good morning and welcome to News in Brief on Vantage TV, where we bring you daily news updates on the stories that made major headlines from around the world. My name is Anita McCauley. Do well to stay tuned. On the national news, CART stops IMEC from using MCO Luomo for electoral item distribution. The Federal High Court in Lagos has granted an injunction restraining the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from using, engaging, or further dealing with the chairman of the Lagos Parks and Garages, Musilu Akinsaya, popularly known as MC Oluomo, or any of his representatives in the distribution of election materials and ad hoc staff for the forthcoming polls in the state. Justice Chukujeku Aneke granted the interim interlocutory injunction after listening to an application filed by Labour Party and two other political parties and their governorship candidates. Police arrest 30 suspects in Ogun over fuel Naira scarcity riots. Normalcy seems to have been restored in Shagamu, Shagamu local government area of Ogun State, after a violent protest that rocked the town early on Monday over scarcity of fuel and the new Naira notes. Banks and businesses' premises were attacked and set ablaze. Cars looted and burned as shops were forced to remain under lock and key. According to the State Commission of Police, Frank Mba, who led his men and soldiers to the scene, 30 suspects have been arrested in connection with the unrest. 15 persons arrested over jam registration fraud. 15 persons have been arrested in connection with various forms of irregularities in the 2023 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, UTME. JAM Registrar Professor Ishak Oloyade disclosed this at the end of a joint monitoring exercise in Abuja, said the 15 persons who were discovered to be defrauding this process had been apprehended and were detained. On to the international news, two fresh earthquakes rock Turkey. Turkey was again struck by two earthquakes on Monday evening. Local media have reported citing emergency services. This came barely two weeks after devastating earthquakes rocked Turkey and Syria and destroyed thousands of houses while killing more than 40,000 people. The country's agency reported that several buildings collapsed as a result of the new quakes. The Turkish Disaster and Emergency Management Presidency, AFAD, called on locals to avoid coastal areas, warning about a risk of a rising sea level on the Mediterranean coast. That's it on this edition of News and Brief Advantage TV. For more updates, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.